hello students welcome uh, uh, in our previous class we uh, discuss uh, uh, unit uh, uh, second education uh, we uh, wrap up the unit second uh, education now uh, in today's class we are going to start the lesson with unit third uh, unit third lesson is about mass media and technology uh, so here all together seven lessons uh, are best one uh, on this topic mass media and technology uh, it deals with about computer and about internet and about email electronic mail uh, how uh, email and computer internet influence the people's daily life uh, it has been presented uh, through this uh, uh, unit that is mass media and technology so in the same way uh, in today's class we are going to start from lesson first the first lesson is computer and the pursuit of happiness uh, this is an essay it was written by david uh, glenter uh, this essay talks about the influence of computer and the internet uh, uh, to, in our daily life, uh, in people's uh, daily life, how internet and computers uh, have influenced the people's life is presented through this essay. Uh, so being based on it, uh, we are going to discuss about uh, uh, this essay, Computer and the Pursuit of Happiness by David Gerlenter. Uh, so now let's uh, start the class with this, uh, with this topic. Uh, David Gerlinter, a professor of computer science at the Yale University, has written many books and articles on the role of technology in people's life. He has written many articles based on how the impact of technology in people's life he has written. Uh, so in the same manner, this essay talks about computer technology, how computer technology, how internet has influenced the life of the people has been presented here. This essay deals with the influence of computer and internet on individual and on a society. Uh, it talks about the influence how how the computer and internet has has impacted in the people's life it has shown through the essay uh, this essay is followed by a letter to the editor disagreeing with the various aspects of argument by Winnie of Martin when David Gerlinter has written this uh, essay uh, about the computer pursuit of happiness he has pointed out uh, some influence some negative aspect of computer and internet so on the contrary, uh, this is controversial essay. Uh, so later on, Winnie of Martin, uh, he has uh, written a letter to the editor disagreeing the idea of David Gerlinter. He says that Martin leads to a discussion of the function and effect of the mass media and other forms of technology. Most important, the important, the internet will bring comprehensive education to more and more people throughout the world. The internet will extend not just communication, but a universe of educational experience to all the remote peoples of the world. That's why computer is always beneficial. It is a boon. Computer internet is a boon, uh, boon in the lives of the people. Uh, he has pointed out this idea uh, that goes against the idea of David Gerlinter. Uh, so in this essay, uh, Gerlinter addressed three questions issue here. The first one is whether thanks to computers and the internet, we are now living in a new information age. So in that uh, issue, he says that we are not living in a new information age and computers and the internet do not represent a revolutionary development in human history except in science and engineering he disputes the claims of those arguing the existence of new information age he has pointed out this idea in the same way in the second issue whether computers have been beneficial or harmful to humanity over the last 50 years uh, he answers it negatively he says that despite the information and wealth that computers have generated human happiness has an increase on the whole new technologies have come into existence but the social structure they have created have not necessarily improved and uh, the human element associated with the old structure has decreased uh, he has uh, presented his idea there uh, similarly in the next uh, third issue whether the computers are likely to have positive or negative influence over the next half century uh, as a response of this question uh, the writer states that technology will have little to do with human happiness uh, in the future. Uh, Gerlinter raised the issues like whether we are living in an information age uh, or whether the old age has ended and we are living in new age, whether the computer has been good or bad for mankind over the last half century and whether the computers are likely to be good or bad over the next half century. He tried to, he tries to give powerful answer to the above mentioned question through the historical comparison in this essay and now he came to the conclusion that we are not living in the evolution information age 
so his ideas here uh, computer and internet they have influenced a lot in our daily lives and people are searching the happiness though computer has progress a lot computer and internet has progress a lot people are searching they are pursuing their happiness so he he presented the idea that there are some good and bad aspect of computer and internet though internet has made the life of people very easier it has demerits too so his idea is presented here is then uh, let's go through the summary here uh, this essay pursued computer and pursued happiness is an that is interesting essay uh, by david gerlinter this essay deals with the influence of the computer and internet on the individual on society this reading is brought by later to the editor as we discussed earlier so here the writer has pointed out three issue three question regarding the computer science internet so he says that computer and internet we are living now in a new information age so our new information is computer and internet do not represent our revolution or development in the human history he says that uh, so according to his idea according to the writer the computer and the internet have not brought happiness and prosperity in the modern life uh, neither they will bring welfare and well being in future life he further says that computer and the internet do not stand for revolution or development in human history on the whole human happiness has not increased but decreased well because of so called great advancement of technology gernander idea is that though a kind of technological revolution has occurred the social structures that have been created have not improved here thus according to the writer modern technology will have little to do with the human happiness in the future it may develop it, it may bring happiness in the future so his idea is that so uh, there are some advantages and disadvantages of using computer internet and computer let's go here uh, we can find each and every part of information about anything we want from that internet internet saves money and time we can perform our work very easily uh, spending much time without spending much time in computer and increase their efficiency we can communicate almost with everyone wherever we are through the net we can do that the cheapest and fastest and the most influential means of communication we can have the latest news at the click of mouse the internet is such a medium that is that can it can give many options for the kind of information required the wide reach offered by the mass media phenomenal it can target a global audience so that's why computer that's why internet has ample advantages uh, beside the advantages there are some demerits there are some drawbacks of this uh, internet computer uh, let's go there it turns the real life into virtual one so people bec become less uh, less sociable as well it makes the people unsociable uh, the use of internet have created a new turn in the old rules and pattern of love and relationship the people tie the relationship through net but the decision of staying together is not taken randomly yes such form of bond lacks talks chat room meetings and email communication can in by serious misunderstanding and misinterpretation of from the both side so these are the disadvantages it promotes and facilitates women in women and illegal activities as well different kinds of illegal activities criminal activities uh, can be boosted through uh, their internet uh, beside this it is a misuse in war and destruction as well no sensor no control and no authenticity over what appears on the screen a particular event i know celebrity may receive under and the important sign said wrong ideals among the, the youngster unnecessary sensationalism of an issue may project wrong information to public misleading messages may divert a young mind towards the wrong path wrong interpretation wrong interpretation of the news may lead to unrest and violence in certain places so that is the advantage and disadvantage of internet and beside this computer too ah uh, istan i have some question here Uh, that is what are the advantages and disadvantages of using computer and internet describe the importance of computer and the internet in your own life uh, so try try your best to write this uh, question answer uh, students uh, now i hope you got the concept you got, you got the concept of this david gerlinder essay uh, computer and the person happiness that comes under uh, this uh, uh, mass media and technology this lesson talks about how the computer is pursuing happiness to the people how computer internet is influencing people's life and what are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, this uh, internet uh, we discuss uh, i hope you got the concept if you have any confusion uh, regarding this lesson and other previous lesson don't forget to comment me uh, at last
डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक एंड कपूर कमेंट ऑन वस्टाइल लॉरी नेटवर्क दिस चैनल होप टू मीट यू इन आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन आवर नेक्स्ट क्लास विथ न्यू आइडियाज टिल देन गुड बाय टेक केयर